Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to demonstrate creating a responsive web page using our layout here. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for new and upcoming videos. Let's jump right in. Now, the first thing you want to do with your responsive page is that you want to ensure that you're not using any constraints. And the problem is when you do use constraints, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't always resize the way that you expect. Here's an example. Some constraints are applied while others are not. Now it can get worse uh, depending on the design that you're using. And let's show another example. So what we want to do is ensure that we remove all constraints. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either just select all the elements uh, within your actual layers panel, or you can just simply select uh, dragging the mouse. So either or, as long as you have all the content selected, what you want to do is go to your constraints. You want to change this to left and this to top to ensure you have the correct constraints what you want to see is that nothing changes while you actually resize the element is we want to duplicate our actual frame our new frame we want to ensure that it has the same name as our original design and we're going to call this our default design now you can either call this default or you can call it the actual width that you're targeting the next step we want to do is we want to copy our default now with screens what you want to ensure is that you go from uh, highest to lowest this is a CSS rule so our next screen let's assume we're targeting uh, 700 now it's irrelevant where you actually place these screens uh, the order you just have to actually make sure the order is correct within your actual layer now with Figma unfortunately normally what you would assume is simply change your width to 700 but the problem is you won't necessarily be able to access these elements outside of the frame itself so a fast way to get around this simply draw a rectangle reposition it in the corner make it 700 wide or your target screen drag it a little bit below because you will end up uh, resizing and uh, in essence making your content longer simply to fit the size that we're targeting and then what we're going to do is just lock the layer well, let's actually change the opacity a bit. And let's just lock it. So what this will do now is allow us to see exactly where our design should reside within. This is just a quick hack. Uh, I'm not sure Figma will change this, but this is a quick way to get it done. Now let's go ahead and basically realign our elements to match our target screen size. we have the design that we're expecting uh, based on this screen size there are a couple of things that we want to keep in mind which is very important the only things we did was we realigned and we changed the basic effects of each layer do not change the layer names or the layer ordering these are CSS rules and they are very important if you do so you will have display errors in the end so now that we have the size that we're expecting what we can do is we can go ahead and remove our rectangle we'll change our screen size to 700 so now in essence what we have is we have a frame for our design which matches I would guess a tablet maybe we can call this and we could basically create uh, any other design that we're expecting stuff let's actually change this to 1440 before we export just in case Okay, so now you can see that we have our design for our 1440. That was my fault. I actually forgot a rule. When you're using uh, responsive frames, you do not need a default. If you are adding folders as responsive, you do need a default. That was my fault completely. So you should add the actual sizes that you're targeting. So this is our, I guess, desktop. And this is our mobile. So we should actually make something smaller than 700 just in case. 
uh, so that it aligns because our default is our complete design. We could have changed our default to our smallest design, it's irrelevant. But we can easily tweak this in the design. 